hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to convert a csv file to a html table and display it inside the browser using python and we will be using flask web framework for printing it inside uh, the browser this will be a complete web app where you will convert the csv file to html table you will see these uh, have three columns and four rows so if i refresh it this is a route here it is displaying it so we have this csv file here we can add a, another entry here let's suppose any sort of name and any country so if you just refresh it hopefully it will add one other row you will see fourth row had, has been added so you can have as many rows as you want here and uh, this is kind of a converter kind of an application where you convert csv file into html table and display it inside the browser so I have written a complete blog post step by step inside my codingsiksha.com blog website. I have given the link in the video description. So where step by step instruction is given and you can download all the source code. So just go to the video description link to follow along with the video. So now let's get started by building this application guys. So I will close this tab here and I will open a new tab and I will make a new directory which is csv2 html and I will go into this directory and first of all guys inside this python you need to install flask so pip install flask so if you haven't already installed flask so just execute this command after that you need to install pandas library which is p-a-n-d-a-s which will actually convert this for us so install pandas library and now open it inside your code editor I'm using visual studio code text editor and here we need to first of all write app.py file so this will be the business logic of the application so here first of all we will import flask so we will from flask we will import uh, flask library and also we will import render template render underscore template which will actually include the html file which will store inside our templates folder so just make a templates folder and here we will make our index.html file so basically any html file that you want to serve inside your flask application must be residing inside this templates folder so this is a syntax so now after requiring the library we also need to import pandas library so import pandas as pd so after this we will initialize our flask app so the syntax is very simple you use flask and here you pass name decorator and after that in order to run this application it is very simple we will again if name is equal to main if name is equal to so in that scenario we can run this application app dot run and here we can run this application on uh, first is the host parameter so we are running it on a ho local host so here we will pass local host and the second parameter is the port number you can choose any port number of your choice so we will convert this into a integer and here we will pass 5000 so now basically if you launch this application just execute python app.py so it is saying it is listening on localhost 5000 and if you just serve this localhost 5000 this is your application so it is saying not found so we need to make this get route so whenever we open this home route we need to load some kind of application so we can make a simple html so here we can say this is the home route so now inside this in order to make a route it is very simple we will use this decorator which is called as uh, at the rate app dot and route so we will pass the home route so whenever people hope open the home page we will define a function here which will be define hello world and here we will just say uh, we will return the template which will be we will say return render template 
and here we will pass the address which will be simply index.html so hopefully if you refresh now you will see the paragraph which is written let me see why it is not we call this as index.html so hopefully let me restart the application And now if I load this so you will see this is the home route so now we are successfully loading this index.html file so now we simply need to convert the CSV file so for creating it the CSV file just create a simple uh, data.csv file here in the root directory so here you can just provide some test data so I will say name age country you can have any columns of your choice so we can say Let me put some random entries here. So now you can see we have three columns, four entries, four rows. So this is our data.csv file. So now we need to load this CSV file. We need to convert this. So for converting it, we will be using our uh, pandas library. So we will declare a df which stands for data frame and we will use pd dot read csv which will read the actual csv file for us and here we will pass the path which is simply data dot csv because it is present inside the same directory so after loading this csv file we need to convert this to csv so this contains a method here which is df to underscore csv and inside this we will pass our file here which will be again data.csv and we will pass the second parameter which will be index is equal to none that's it so now after that guys inside our row this uh, route here we will call this as uh, csv to HTML and inside this template we will delete this instead we will first of all convert this we will call this uh, data variable here just create some space data is equal to and after that we will say pd dot read csv and here we will pass the input file which is data dot csv and then we will return out the template return render template and inside this we will call our index.html and now we need to pass some data so here we will convert the csv into html table so just create a tables variable that we will pass and inside this in the square brackets we will call data dot and this contains a method guys which is to html which will actually to underscore html so this will convert to html table so this is the method here data dot to underscore html this will actually convert it to html table and lastly put a comma we will also give it a titles variable which will be a empty array like this so this is all that we need inside this file here app.py now we can move to our index.html now to render this table this is very easy we will have a simple div which we will align this in the center position so we will use the attribute align align center and then we will have a table tag and inside this we will have table row sorry we have the h1 tag h1 and inside this guys we will print out the table so inside double curly brackets curly brackets in percentage sign this is the way by which you dynamically loop out tables so we would use the for loop for table in tables and 
after that we will use sorry now we will use the h2 tag here so for the first row we will use this titles array you can see we have passed it this is empty array you can see we will we will write here loop dot index loop dot index that's it this will be the numbering that you see 0 1 2 3 this is the first row here the second row for this we need to have our this tag which is double curly brackets table this tag save and after that we need to end the for loop so we will say again percentage sign and and for that's it again percentage sign one more time that's it so this is the way by which guys you can do this this is the syntax this can be looking some uh, complicated syntax but in flax this is the way by which you can do it so simply copy paste this code here just watch this video and now we can launch our application hopefully if i go to the home route so i need to refresh the application for this python app.py so so it is saying server encountered an internal error let me see unexpected line 13 oh sorry i think we have missed this percentage sign sorry just put a percentage sign here and uh, now you will see the, our table here guys name age country you can add columns as well inside the csv file some more column and uh, so if you refresh it it will add an additional column here you will see you can even uh, add some more rows So in this way guys you can create a simple converter kind of application where you can convert your csv file into a html table inside browser using the flask framework and pandas library in python if you want to download all the source code you can go to the video description link to download all the source code please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video